Sonata, what up, my G? Man, what's going on, man? How you guys doing this morning? We're doing good, bro. Appreciate the time and energy, my guy. Congratulations on, on so much that's already happening, yep. my brother. Seriously, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Hey, man, you know we got your music spinning on Real 92.3. DJ Leslie got that covered, my G. Yes, um, man. Mama, I'm yep. tapped in. I'm tuned in. I, man, I'm hearing it. I got, I'm, yeah. I'm getting random people just ha hitting me up like, yo, I just heard you on... Yeah. Oh, so it's been right. love. Thank you That's so right. much. Yo, how, what's that? What's that feeling like, Lana? Like your friends hitting you up, you hitting yourself on the radio. What's what's that feeling like? It's kind of surreal. How you feel about it too, Letcha? Go ahead. Go ahead, Nana. It's really surreal, honestly. Like you know, because you know, I, I I grew up on Los Angeles radio, so just hearing it, you know, and my parents hearing it, uh, it, it's it's surreal for them too, because they they're like, you know, they they used to ask me for years, like, oh, when are you gonna be on the radio? When are you gonna be on the radio? <laughs> when are you gonna be on the radio? <laughs> So for them to like, like, you know, listen and hear me on the radio, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's definitely a moment for sure. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I'm appreciative. I love hearing yeah. that dog. Mm -hmm. I love hearing how important radio is to the artists still in this day that we live yep. in, you know, in this digital era, um, you know, radio, the power of radio is still crazy. You know what I mean? The shout out mm -hmm. is still a major thing to get your song on the radio is still very major and a goal, right? Yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And, uh, I think it, it's it's a, it, man it's so crazy because you know it you got you have it's so many people out there like I feel like there's this false narrative out there that, oh yeah LA radio doesn't play LA artists blah right. blah blah and you know me I'm 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 from the ground up man like everything I do like 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 that song that's that you know on my mama I made that right here in my bedroom you know what I'm saying scoot so, over let me see the home setup. <laughs> you feel me? A, yeah, yeah, I see it. Right you know, I got the little gamer chair. I see yeah, the yes. gamer chair on my right here. You know what I'm saying? Got, yes, you know, sir. you know. Yo. I'm not gonna show y'all the other side of my room because I ain't cleaned up or nothing like that. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we only clean up. up the side that people are gonna see. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Only I was like, you know, let me just kind of clean this up for Zoom real quick. But yeah, nah. Um, yeah, just to you know, just know that you know something that I did. You know, um, you know, right here. Uh, you know, my, my bedroom, you know, it's, 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 it's on the airwaves. It's on the air. Yo, speaking job. of on my mama, what is the best advice that your mom ever gave you? Uh, the best advice that my mom ever gave me, save your money, save your money, put it, put it, put it to the side for a rainy day. And it definitely, it, it was really good advice because, you know, just again, when this pandemic hit, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people were out of work. You know, a lot of people were struggling, trying to get yeah. jobs. The unemployment rate went through the roof, you know, and, and you know, just just knowing that uh, that that advice was very helpful for me um, at an unexpected time, like, you know, uh, 2020, um, that was like some of the best advice. So, man, growing up, I never I never heard save your money. I never heard any of that. I think that's important. We got to we got to start that from a very young mm -hmm. age, man, because, you know, when my parents, you know, they when they got 10 bucks, they were spending 20. You feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And I, I, I think that's another thing, too, like, especially in our culture, like we always we're like we always end up like spending before we actually have it. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir, I, I remember when I was in 11th grade, I had this summer job um, uh, like at my church, it was like a program and, uh, we would, um, I want to say it was probably, it lasted maybe like a month or so, but I ended up, you know, every week they were paying me or whatnot. And I mm. was buying clothes, bro, like Jordans, all type of stuff. And like, in, in hindsight, like looking back, I'm like, damn, if I would have saved all of that money, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of put it to the side and you know, did something useful with it rather than just kind of blowing it on like material stuff, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I could have, you know, kind of learned financial literacy at a, you know, at a, at a younger age. Cause even in school at that age, they don't really teach you no. financial literacy like that. Hell so. no, dog. I'm still trying to clean up my credit from when I was, you know, from <laughs> years, years back. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Not that. Going hear back that. to, to, you know, there's that narrative that, LA radio doesn't support LA artists. You're an LA artist that's on LA radio. What's the right. advice you give to LA artists on getting on the radio to the radio? You, you know, cause you're, you're living proof of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something right. they may not know, you know, that right. you've already figured out. Right. Yeah. Nah, just, just 
put the work in. It starts with the music. Like, just put the work in. The rest is going to come. It starts with the music. And a lot of people are focused on everything else but the music, you know. And, like, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. Like, a lot of artists aren't getting, like, you know, for the most part, you know, some artists that, that are like, oh, yeah, radio's not playing my song, blah, blah. It's because the music is whack. Just keeping it a stack, you know what I'm saying? A lot it, of times it sounds the same. Un- yeah, it sounds the same. You know, when it's undeniable, it's undeniable. And um, yeah, but you uh, know how some artists they will and listen. God bless them, dog. I, I I could I could only imagine the frustration mm-hmm. of doing music and wanting your stuff on the radio, especially from your hometown, and it's not on. But that's not necessarily the radio's fault. It's not. It's not. It's not necessarily it, it, like real real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy. Shout out to uh. My brother DJ Head, man, he always tells me, he's like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's like, be intentional. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's some of the best advice like anybody has ever given me. You know what I'm saying? Be intentional. It starts with the records. So, you know, just taking that advice, I'm like, okay, let me just focus on making really good songs. I know the rest is going to come. You know, I, I really didn't expect any of this, like, to be honest with you. Um, so the fact that it's happening, you know, after like just seeing that advice and really focusing on just the records, it kind of speaks volumes. Just like focus on the on the on the on the art and the craft, and put leave it on the floor. Put everything you have into it, and the rest is gonna come. Save yourself. Yeah. You can stream that right now. L.A. Mm-hmm. Times video is crazy. You know, it's just about getting back to the house at the end of the day, my G, which is a luxury. Yeah. <laughs> you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, man, living in Los Angeles, especially the culture. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It, you, you, you could get jammed up at any moment. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, that, that's what that video was really about. And um, did, did y'all like the video? Yeah, dog. Well done, bro. Well I haven't done. peeped it yet. I'll be honest. I'm going to get to it. Okay. What was that? What was what influenced you for that look and that vibe? Um, uh, well, just growing up around it, the story yeah, itself, like, like just growing up, like every day I would walk to school, it was a chance that something might happen, and something, and then like ninety nine percent of the time, always did happen. You know, to the point where you know I I might have been in the wrong neighborhood. You know, just might have been in the right neighborhood and you know somebody else was just driving by and i looked like somebody that you know they got beef with or whatever the case is and it's just like the 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 it's just how it is living in los angeles you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. especially growing up in the inner city you know so just to be able to paint that picture um uh you know in the way that we did it resonated with a lot of people especially people that I grew up with because, you know, they're like, oh man, you brought me back to the time where. Yeah, you tapped into, you know, Mm -hmm. what they've gone through, you know, Mm -hmm. and what they'll never forget, you know, those type of things, trying to make it back home simply from your friend's house or or from school or from from anywhere and it's nighttime, like, yo, all of that adds up and it creates trauma in our lives as we grow up, man. Yeah, and we don't realize exactly it creates trauma, you know, and and, and now a lot of people, like a lot of, uh, you know, People like they need therapy. They don't really realize it, you know, because mm-hmm. like, like growing up in those conditions, there were a lot of innocent people that what got jammed up in a situation like yeah. the one I, you know, kind of painted in LA Times that didn't get to walk away from it, you know. So um, just going through that, it does create tra- like a traumatic experience. And um, yeah, it, it, I think it was very important for me to kind of like, you know, uh, tap back into that because I know for me every time it happened I was like damn like is this the last time like like yeah, you the felt last lucky. time I saw my mom is that the last mm-hmm. time she's gonna like you know see me and uh, you know so I think um, you know the fact that I was able to kind of like tell that story and a lot of people that weren't from like that aren't familiar with how things are in LA you know it brought them into that world like oh wow I didn't know it was like that yeah, man. L.A. Times videos out. Save yourself. Stream that, mm-hmm. Nana. Yo, uh, growing up in Los Angeles, man, you pick up any Spanish? You had to have. Man, bro, a little bit. Poquito. Mm-hmm. Poquito. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy in school. Like, I always wanted to take Spanish. They didn't put me in Spanish. They put me in French. You know what I'm saying? Oh, tu pas <laughs> I mean, I'm not bad at it. Uh, you know what? Tu pas français? Uh... 
It's been a minute. I ain't gonna front. Yeah. I, I, I know certain <laughs> things though. I know Je Mappel. I know uh Como Tale Vu. Mercy. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, Shout out to French in high school too. It's crazy. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I made it all the way to what? I passed in French one, French two. I was like, uh, you kind of yeah. got a little lucky, but <laughs> no, nah, man. Picked up I'm on into the French fries, French vanilla ice cream, <laughs> yeah. French kissing. I get it. Hey, 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 French Montana's his favorite artist too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yolanda, on the project, what song took the least amount of time to make, and which song took the longest time to make? Um, the least amount of time was King's Boulevard. I wrote that song in like five minutes Sheesh. it was like boom 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 yeah it just was like when i feel something it just like it just pulls it out of me like i'm like okay boom 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 get it done um the longest song uh that took that uh, the longest song i took to make on there was probably the second to last song which is running um i wrote that's, that's crazy because i actually wrote the verses just as fast as I wrote LA Times, but I was stuck on that hook for like two months. Damn. And yeah, but it's it's, it's a process, it. yeah. It's definitely a process. And um, the song almost didn't even make it. And my homie was like, nah, this has to go on there. So what we did was we uh we I'm I'm the type of person I love going to the beach. I love Malibu, I love driving up the coast. Yeah. So he was like, All right, let's try something different to kind of pull some inspiration so you could like, you know, really tap in. What we did, crazy story. We packed up um, the studio in his car, drove to the highest mountain in Malibu in his car and recorded, like was just trying to catch a vibe, ended up catching a vibe on a hook for that song. And we listened back, we were like, oh shit, this is crazy. And we listened to the song to the, to the point where it got dark and foggy up there and we had to drive back down. But Damn. you know, uh, long story short, that's the yeah. That, that's probably that song probably took me the longest because of the hood. Yeah, song. it's a process. Wow. You know, Lecce always talks about that. Lecce, we recently premiered one of his songs as well. My guy Lecce, he does music uh, right. on the radio, and right. um, you know, you know that feeling. It's crazy. It's a crazy feeling. That's something that I'll never feel mm -hmm. because right. I, I, you know, I don't think I'll ever have a song. I'm not singing or rapping or anything like that. Maybe put together. A song. I'm gonna throw you on the next album. I'm Ooh. gonna throw you on the next album. I'm, I'm down, man, for what we're doing, man, because <laughs> yo, I'm trash. <laughs> have him do an interlude. We can figure it out. Yeah. We can figure it out. <laughs> have him do I'm a skit, skit right skit three. Yo, I'm there. We go. There we go. A skit <laughs> interlude, uh, introduction, mm -hmm. or if you want to ghost write, listen, no, no, it's up to you, my G. I'm in now. Let's go. There we go. There we go. We can figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Hey, We're gonna figure it out. Tell us you're from LA without saying you're from LA. Um uh man you could show us something Ooh, tell us tell y'all i'm from la without saying i'm from la <laughs> um chucks are my favorite there it is <laughs> i just got a pair yesterday <laughs> nike, nike cortez i just got a pair the other day too there we I, go crazy there we colorway go. i was like yo i gotta get them what's up les yep. oh okay nana so really quick you mentioned ghostwriting what is your take on artists that don't write their own material I mean, if you deem yourself as like a rapper's rapper and you don't write your own material, then, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, uh, you kind of lose a little points, but you know, um, I don't, I don't really hold it against anybody mm -hmm. that, that kind of have people, you know, team writing for them. Like some of the best artists, mm -hmm. writing, like, you know, Michael Jackson, um, you know, uh, Beyonce has writers, you know, and, and, you know, yeah, it's man. not, it's not really to be looked down upon, um, but if you are, uh, you know, deem yourself as like, yo, I'm the best rapper and you're not yeah. fighting mm -hmm. raps, then it's kind of like mm. behind that pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't really look down on, on people that have ghost writers, you know, so, yeah. Hey, man, you got to get it done, right? Listen, man, Real 92.3, black and brown, man. That's what we talk about. Definitely. Uh, uniting, you know, being yeah. together on things, man. Seriously, Definitely. um, you know, Black History Month, what does that mean to you, sir? Man, it means everything to me, especially growing up in my household. I grew up in a cultured household. My parents are from Ghana, they came, uh, here from uh, London, they came here from London, and um, you know, just, just growing up in a household and just seeing the like learning, uh, from the values that my parents instilled in me, it meant everything, 
you know, and um, uh, I, I tell all my people like, yo, if you get a chance, uh, man, go back to Africa. I went, I went to Africa when I was what, 15. I went back to go visit my grandma. It was a life changing experience. So I, I encourage all, all my people to go visit, you know, and um, uh, yeah, it, it, man, it's our history. Like it, it, it's, it means so much. And there's always missing pieces, especially when you grow up in the school system. I, I, the other day, that was like two days ago, I saw um, Judas and the Black Messiah. Oh my God, groundbreaking, life-changing, like experiences seeing it. And I, I, I kind of did my own research on Fred Hampton, but just kind of seeing how, you know, there was an agenda against um, uh, him bringing everybody together because he was bringing all forms of like life together and uh, yeah. just kind of seeing how, you know, they kind of broke that down. It, it, it sucked but yeah that black history is everything to me that's right yo that nip and hove is crazy right yeah that soundtrack oh insane too Jeez. listen man. listen 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 that i jay-z is my favorite writer and like rapper like writer rapper like of all time he's the greatest to me he's the goat to me um and you know being from the crenshaw district you know what nip means like that's like you know, he, he mean, it mean, snip is nip. You feel me? Um, so just hearing that song, bro, I was just talking to somebody like five minutes ago. I, I had to stop playing the song because I'm like, man, I can't play the song out. It's so good. Like, it's right, just so right. good. Like, like, and Nip is, he's one of those um, figures like Tupac. Everything he says, it like speaks to today's time like because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i read that that song or that verse was from 2013 or something like that but it's yeah 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 and it sounded like he just like like he's here and he just wrote it yesterday because everything yeah, he, like is just true it's it's, it's he tells it straight that's what yeah. i love about nip so yeah man that's one of my favorite joints right now for real crazy right hey any other big homies kind of just you know give you any advice or talk to you about what you got coming ahead um man it's so funny i um i was i i ended up bumping into uh my guy j305 uh in lamar park yesterday and he was just kind of giving me game honestly like you know just how to move and things yeah. of that nature and um you know i was just kind of taking it all in and you know I'm, man i'm i'm like a sponge you know I, especially at this uh stage in my career i'm just yes, trying to learn and just get the best advice and surround myself with the best, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, that's uh, it. Uh, people that have wisdom, you know, so. Yeah. Yo, the game, I know you hold him up to a high regard, man. Have you spoken to the game? Have you connected with the game? Nah, I never tapped in with game, but Ooh. if any, anybody that knows me, Ooh. they know, they know how, how important, like, just game was to, like, just me getting into music and doing music um because i see him as one of the one of the figures that kind of helped resurrect you know uh los angeles music because after tupac died it was kind of like you know kind of silent and then you know the energy that he brought that game brought back to the you know the los angeles scene and you know what he did was a uh, very very vital so no i haven't spoken to game but i know that day is that day is gonna soon come for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot in common, you know, two LA kids, you feel me, both almost died. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, facts, facts, real talk. Um, yeah, and and that was another thing that influenced me was his just his story. Um, and just how cuz like I said, I've always been a Jay-Z fan and I think for me what game gave me as a as a rapper from the West Coast and hearing how uh East Coast influences flow was, but he was so accessible because he was from Compton. Like Brooklyn is so far. Like I love Jay, but Brooklyn was so far. So I love Jay, but Game gave me the accessibility. Like oh shit, it's like, it's like right here, mm -hmm. you know. So um yeah, I, I I hold him to a high regard and high respect. Man, you so. do your homework, dog. You respect the legends. Yes, sir. That's great, yes, sir. man. That's yes, great sir. to know, man. Last Leche, yeah. did we get everything? Everything. Well, I do have one question. It's not about the album, but I want to know, uh, in, what is your favorite Mexican food in L.A.? 
<laughs> oh man. Being born and raised, that's so crucial. Yes, sir. I'm so glad you asked me this. I don't know if any of you guys have been to Poppy um, Tacos on Jefferson. You have to go. Hmm. I think it I just is... saw somebody post po Poppies. Yeah. Yes. Maybe maybe it was head. I don't know. Somebody just posted Poppies. Fire. I literally went there two days ago mm -hmm. and I was trying to debate if I wanted to go yesterday for Taco Tuesday. I was like, oh man, do I want to, I want to do it two days in a row. Uh, <laughs> but I held out. I held do out. Do it, dog. Do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I, I, I got to stay true to my diet. It's I'm on that fire, huh? It's, it's that fire. It's so fire, money back bro. guarantee, if we don't like the food, you're going to pay us back? I'll pay y'all back. I'll, all, all you guys. Okay. I guarantee you. Money back guarantee. <laughs> money back guarantee. Poppies is so fire. It's it's off of uh, like Jefferson and Sixth Ave. Yeah, Lecce, uh -huh. you heard of it? No, I haven't heard of it. But right now I'm also on a diet for seven months. So I can't. <laughs> all that. So, Lana, I mean. You're remaining quiet over yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chime in. I didn't want to, but. I'm going to have to try You're that out to... seven months. <laughs> That's right. Yo, yeah, you... save yourself. Go ahead and stream it all major yes. streaming platforms. LA Times featuring Reason. Nana, we appreciate you, dog. Congratulations on the yeah. hit music, on the hit songs, singles, videos, mm -hmm. everything you got going, dog. I appreciate you guys. Again, it's, it's, it's a blessing and an honor to be here from you guys. I listen to the show all the time. So appreciate it, to like, be oh, here you. on the show um, is definitely a blessing and an honor. And, um, yeah, you guys are great. Thank you so much. Salute, Thank my you. Guys. Merci, bon ami. Bonjour.